Alrighty, I can tell Wonderland's open because I'm literally making one to two videos a day right now. Boy, do I feel overworked, but is it worth it? It's so worth it. Anyways, <laughs> that being said, a lot has changed in literally a day and a half. So as you can tell, Timberkit's roof has arrived on site and the walls have started going up on Mountain Bear Lodge, uh, which is the name of the restaurant. And Rutherford Construction is hard at work on some new things um, that I have no idea um, exactly where they're going. I saw some car activity in and around Wonder, or sorry, Whitewater Canyon. You're going to see a little bit of that in this video, um, but I don't see any changes or any activity that can prove of anything going on inside the forest of Whitewater Canyon. Obviously, it's a little difficult to see any other parts. I really need Whitewater Canyon to open to get a better um, understanding if anything's happening around Action Theater. Um, but I have some new thoughts after experiencing Canada's Wonderland on Season Pass Holders Day that I'll talk about. Um, the Splashworks building over here is definitely starting to look like two bars. Um, it is honestly looking like self-serve bars, if I were to take a guess, um, which is interesting. I don't know that for sure, but if I had to judge based off that, it looks like there's slots for vending machines, which you could also see at some of their other bars. Um, or maybe they're going to be self-serve, kind of like vending machines. You go out and buy your drink, and it looks like it could have standing up tables that you just stand around, if that makes sense for anyone who's been to a bar. Um, so that looks like it could be that kind of setup, Those, um, but I have no idea yet, but they're Timber Kits. So Timber Kits scored quite the project at Canada's Wonderland. Seems like they have their fingers dipped in almost all new additions, which is awesome because they're quite stunning. Um, features and projects, so I definitely love that, and I definitely want to see more from Rockscapes as well. I'd love to see some Rockscape designs or even touch-ups of the mountain. Um, but yeah, the the restaurant's um, deck. So for those of you that don't know, it's going to have a deck along the outer portion. Its foundation was poured as well. Um, there is the kitchen. As you look right here and look closely, it is being set up, so you can see some of the vents um, and cooking systems installed, and the gas lines coming up. So that's pretty awesome. Um, there is a staircase in there that goes to the basement as well. Um, but yeah, definitely lots of activity going on at Wonderland. And you're going to see a lot more of it. So there are several projects in the works at Canada's Wonderland right now um, that we expect that you'll start seeing more of over the next one to two months. Um, you're going to start to see a lot of work in Planet Snoopy and the Dinosaurs Alive. There are a ton more stakes back there. And I definitely think that's going to be something that's much needed. For those of you that um, went back there, and if you didn't, I have a walkthrough about to uh, come up on the channel tomorrow, so check that out. It is busier than the adult side of the park. Um, to put into perspective, uh, the Dodgems, uh, bumper cars in Planet Snoopy, the line went all the way down towards um, the Haunted Mansion, or whatever they call it. The Dark Shooting Ride, I forget its name right now. And Peanuts 500 and the Ferris Wheel line extended towards Sally's Love Bugs. Uh, kids are antsy. They don't have the ability to wait like adults do. Not saying we have the ability to wait. We can be pretty antsy ourselves. But nonetheless, keeping a kid entertained while lining up um, is extremely hard to do. So I definitely foresee Cedar Fair investing in Planet Snoopy yet again um, and us having the biggest kids area because it's much needed and families make up a lot of money. The uh, The average family comes with like two to four uh, guests per family and they're dropping money, and uh, money on food. So that's something Cedar Fair is going to want to invest in. So I definitely see something on a smaller scale to Mountain Bear Lodge being built in Dinosaurs Alive with some new rides. Uh, that would be my guess for that plot of land and maybe even a kid's coaster down the road. Um, but the adults are definitely going to get something too uh, in 2023. I honestly am really trying really hard. Normally, I know by now what something's going to be. And my team and I have done a lot of talking. And this is why I'm starting to have doubts that it could be a roller coaster. Because normally, I would know about a roller coaster by now. Not to sound like cocky or um, full of it or just like that I know everything, because that's not always going to be the case. There are definitely projects that could switch up and I'll get things wrong. For example, I totally didn't think Wonder Mountain's Guardian was going to be open based off of information that I had received, and it ended up being open. So there are times that I could be wrong, um, but typically, based my team gets access to information on new roller coasters about around this time, if not a month ago. So the fact that we don't 
is not necessarily a good sign, but it doesn't mean that we're not going to get a coaster. So it could end up being a flat ride that we end up getting with a water park expansion because they are investing into the water park. But it, it honestly could be a number of things and we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but I should start getting some answers as to what we're getting in 2023 very shortly. Um, so we'll definitely not leak anything. Um, this channel won't be leaking anything, but just pay attention for some hints and, and stuff like that uh, along the road. But as of this moment, being transparent with you guys, I don't know what 2023 brings. <laughs> Based off construction markers, it's definitely something in and around Whitewater Canyon and Dinosaurs Alive. You can't ignore construction markers. Um, and um, yeah, definitely uh, just want to provide accurate information for you guys and be as transparent as possible as, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the park is definitely upgrading its infra infrastructure, and you're going to see upgrades to the restaurant's capacity as well. They're going to be able to knock a lot more guests out. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Hopefully you had an amazing um, weekend and that your start to this week is going smooth. And can't wait to see you guys in the park. Look forward to our walkthrough of Canada's Wonderland, complete walkthrough, uploading tomorrow. And yeah, have a great night, guys. Bye.